Hi, this is Jonah with Sweet Honey Code, and today we're going to talk about this new feature being rolled out for Shopify called Online Store 2.0. So let's get started. So during the Shopify Unite 2021, they talked about this new feature called the Online Store 2.0, which essentially is completely changing what happens with the store now. Themes in the Online Store and Editor is receiving a big update, and you'll also have store content. Now, there was a lot of exciting moments during this presentation, the biggest of which is this ability to eventually create templates for different products, which means you can actually create different looks and styles for your themes, <clears throat> for your products as well. And then with meta fields, they will now show up on the product page once they roll it out. Along with that is custom content, which would be interesting to see how that fully works once it's released. Essentially, you can create different type of content that can be displayed on your theme with these as well. The idea seems to be on paper that as these changes roll out, anyone who is running the store can basically turn on and off the things they need for their store, along with making it easier for products to talk to your theme. Well, as it is on the Shopify change log, they are starting to roll out some of these features. First has been the enhancements to the theme editor and now the meta fields. Let's take a look at how this looks like on a store. So already you can find the meta field section under the settings of your store, in which case you could click and explore more of that. I'm hoping to to create another video to dig a little further to how that looks now. We take a look at, uh, for example, I'm using the debut theme. I could go now to customize to see this new look they rolled out. So to my right, I can see there's certain shortcuts that could help me with uh, undoing, redoing, and save, which look like the typical keyboard commands. Now I'm on a window, so this could appear differently for someone who's a Mac. Along with that, we can see on the left side that everything looks fairly similar. So right now this looks more like a visual update, slowly going towards the new vision. So I could definitely add sections like I did before, but again, everything looks a little more cleaner for sure. So now when I click on a section, I can see that the settings are now to the right, at least on my monitor, because I have a widescreen monitor. According to their help docs, this does uh, change a little bit if you have a slower, uh, smaller monitor. So here's the theme settings, which actually I like. I like how this is. I, I will take some getting used to because I'm not used to seeing settings to the right, at least for me. Uh, but this is actually a little a very, I'm really liking it. Again, I could see the different views here. How does it look on desktop, mobile, and so forth? So that looks good. So what does this look for everything else? Well, since this is being slowly re released right now, we can't do anything like custom templates just yet. But the idea is eventually you can. So here I can see the different areas in this theme for this. So right now I have this customer reviews app on my Shopify store. And here I actually had to add this to my code. Again, it was, took a while to find. But once things roll out in full force, this will not be a thing anymore. This app will already have the code to create the section that will show up here on the product page. And so it will be up to me you know, the merchant or developer to quickly turn that on and off without again digging into code. It's pretty cool, Lee. So I was very excited to watch Shopify Unite. I will be putting that link in the description as well. And with that release and change, they did release an open source theme for Shopify for those of you who are developers to try out. I wouldn't expect a lot of these features that are in this theme to be fully enabled just yet as some of the features are not fully rolled out, like the custom content, for example. It is certainly one way to dig into seeing what the new themes will work. So you can kind of create your own as that was another thing announced for those who are developers, a different approach to how the theme store will work in the future as well. But with that, what things excite you about this announcement? These changes to Shopify Online Store 2.0. What are you looking forward to with this? And leave your comments below. I would appreciate it. And be sure to like and subscribe as I'll be creating some more videos around this. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.